Good day EMS learners, welcome back to this channel. My name is Paul Duplessis, aka the EMS guy. Today's video, there's a series of eight different videos that you're gonna watch. It's all about the eight different business functions. So make sure you watch from the start to the beginning. You're gonna see one thing, we call it the golden thread that's weaved throughout. Um, so that should clarify if you have any questions, but I hope you're gonna enjoy it. See you in the videos. Production. So we're back with this topic on production. We've done six so far. We've got two left. One of them is production. Now production means marketing has done their job. They have identified the needs. But in order to have the right marketing people, HR has done their job. Right? They have appointed the right people. In order for HR to have been doing their job, they needed to have a budget that comes from finance. And in order for finance to do their job, they need to have an administration team that can actually supply them with background details, more information. In order for um, administration to work, you need to have a good PR so people will actually want to come to the company. So you can see all of this is linked and now we are with production. This is the place, the actual working, the machine work, where the gears turn to make products. And now, HR is involved here again. You need to have the best employees to be productive. You need to find those toolmen, the people that can set the tools up right to make sure you produce 100 cars instead of just 80. Because that extra 20 will increase your productivity and your profitability. You need to have the best employees that do the work on the floors. If they understand the process, they're correctly trained, HR. Then you have an incredible system, but they're all independent, like the gears in the first video. So in order to produce, again, it comes down to finances, right? You have to understand what is the cost. If your cost is low, your end product's cost will be low. That means you can charge a higher product. But for production, they need to understand how much will this cost. They need to work closely with procurement. So procurement comes in and say, okay, you want us to find you the best raw materials, we'll do it. So procurement has to work closely to understand the needs of production. Now we talk about skills again. You need to get the best skilled workers. And you also need to see that quality in this instance is everything. When you produce, you cannot just produce quantity without touching quality. Quality in this case is super important. Then you can work on your efficiency in order to improve that profitability, but never skimp on quality when you produce. That means if you know you have to produce a car and it will take you two minutes to assemble the doors, don't split it into one minute so that people can squash more cars through and then do half a job on um, screwing on the doors. Because if you do that, your doors might be skew, all right? And that will lead to a bad public image. Then PR will have to have spend more money from finance in order to get a big, better company image. So that marketing can actually appeal to them. Can you see this has got a ripple effect? So make sure when you produce that your quantity is correct as well. Remember, if procurement or purchasing doesn't do their job well, you don't have enough stock. And if you're like, for example, Volkswagen and you produce and you get to the line and there's no parts then someone forgot to order or bring from the warehouse, which causes the line to stop. And every stop, it costs you money because you still pay for this worker that's standing there. They do not get paid, they have to get paid. So you want to make sure that it works quickly. So make sure that there's correct stock and that you produce the correct amount of um, products. Remember, you can't underproduce, a, uh, let's say there's a target of a million. You can't stop at 600,000 because marketing will sell a million. So make sure you reach those targets. And another important thing is, once you produce, it must be timeless. That means when you said this is a due date, it should be due. That's why when you run after a target, it's important to actually seek that target because you want to have more stock actually, right? So that marketing can have a bigger thing to run after. And one important thing that is always crucial is to eliminate all your waste. I've been at companies where they have buckets full of waste that is actually filled with so much natural resource that could be reused, but it's, um, it's not that high priority with them. So in order to eliminate waste, that will reduce your cost. When you reduce the cost, you become more profitable. 
So we have to think about this in a sustainable and a long-term way. This is important. Right, this is production in a nutshell. We're going into general marketing. Our last one in this video series, so make sure you don't miss it.